Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be working on taking into account the spinach multiplier. Now you may remember I um, said something about this in one of the previous tutorials, and we're just now getting around to um, adding that in. Um, I added the hooking the log to the form 1 and hiding and showing the log um, in between that. So now your program should look like this. So if you notice, if we attack, it says Popeye has used punch for five damage. Well, if we use spinach and attack, it says Popeye has used punch for five damage. It doesn't take in account the has spinach multiplier. So there is an easy fix for that. We can just go ahead and close out of this. And what we can do is whenever we create an event, let's see here, private function create event. So if string name equals Popeye, then what do we want to do? Well, we'll declare um, damage as an integer. And what we're going to do is we're going to use an if statement. Um, we'll set damage equal to nothing, so it'll quit crying about that. So if hero dot has spinach then what do we want to do damage is going to be equal to and let's say for blank damage so hero dot attack damage at index hero dot attack num so hero dot attack damage so we're accessing this array at the index of attack num which is the randomly generated number and so if he has a spinach, then we want to multiply that by 2. Um, and so we could put an else statement right here, but instead, I just thought of this, we can go ahead and set it equal to um, hero dot attack damage at the index of hero dot attack num. So it's going to start off by using the base damage as the variable damage. Then if it has spinach, it's going to set that equal um, to the damage times 2. So instead of putting all this long code in right here, we can just do damage times equals 2. So we'll come down over here, and instead of having all of this um, array accessing and the index values, we can just go ahead and put damage in. So for damage dot to string damage so let's go ahead and run this and you can see here that um, here is our game loaded up you can see the log is stuck to it so let's go ahead and hide the log we can attack you can see it takes away 95 so we can assume that he punched um, and then the dragon took away 10 damage and so we can show the log um, and you can see that it's, it goes, it'll go ahead and add stuff to the log even if it's not shown. Because it doesn't actually close out of it, it just hides it for the time being. So let's go ahead and use a spinach multiplier. So we go ahead and click attack. It says that he has used kicked for, kick for 20 damage. Now the kick um, has a base damage of 10. Now um, let's go ahead and we, we won't use spinach. And you can see it gives us kick for 10 damage because we didn't use the spinach and we can use spinach again. You can see he used anchor throw for 30 and then I believe we should be able to use it one more time uh, looks like it. So we can use a spinach and he used kick for 20 damage. Now you can't see that there, sorry. But it says anchor throw for 30 and then um, kick for 20 damage. And we don't have any spinach left so we can't use that. Go ahead and click that and you can say we get dragon has used claw for 8 damage um, then we use kick for 10 damage and if we attack one more time it says Popeye has won and you can see that Popeye has won uh, down here and it spawned a another enemy for us so we'll go ahead and hide that log so go ahead um, put this code in if you haven't already um, and then once you do that um, this is actually the final tutorial for the um, game. Uh, you can keep adding to it if you want. 
Um, you can add graphics, which we're going to be learning about soon. Um, and if you guys have any completed projects, you can go ahead and put uh, a video response if you want. That would be best in the, in the uh, reply to this video. Or you can just leave a comment saying that you finished it. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if not, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.